Well, folks, today we got a lot of next-gen gaming news to talk about. Yes, everything is shutting down. We got PlayStation to talk about. We got Call of Duty. We got GTA. And a lot of people are mean. People are angry. And we're going to be getting into the story. Drop a thumbs up if you love your mama. Subscribe if you're brand new. And certainly, don't chase a pom-pom. Chase your dreams, okay? And coming in at our number 12 spot, our first story. Apparently, I cannot even compute this one. Ladies and gentlemen, for once, we have good news. We're going to start off with some good news. And then we're going to get down to some real gaming news, okay? Because you're going to see the rat of gamers because apparently at our number 12 spot gta online news came out and they said that the gta trilogy the defective edition is currently hovering between mixed and mostly positive stop the cap this gotta be cap bro and when i click on this one bro gta san and real <laughs> mostly mostly positive bro these are the same gamers uh, almost two years ago when GTA the defective edition came on everybody was like yo 0.6 1.6 Everybody was going off and now that it came over on the PCs you can see mostly positive mostly positive and right here We have GTA 3 with the mail mm. And I was thinking right I was at one point scratching my ball sack and I, I was kind of thinking and debating with myself for this is probably happening because most of the gamers are very lovely people very caring as well and and maybe after two years they realize it's time to give it like mostly positive reviews and you want to know how many people are actually playing the game well the 24 hour p <laughs> it is uh seven people and at our number 11 spot there's a warzone glitch allowing people to swim around under the map and just kill anyone they want roll it On the other side, man said that Call of Duty Mobile has been fun, cannot lie. And right before we dive into some toxic gamer news, ladies and gentlemen, we also have good news. I, I just cannot even compute it. Uh, shout out to the homie Soli Knives that only for adding me in the situation because apparently we're hearing that the voice actor who plays Raiden in the Metal Gear Solid games have seemingly teased there may be new announcements in the coming weeks. And a lot of people start shaking, people doing helicopters with their woolies. And I mean, this chat is so wholesome that, 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 that people are trying to like hold everybody like like that i mean this is a i mean wow like 1080p resolution ladies and gentlemen we got homies adding each other in the situation a sequel to the best metal gear game uh, rising would be great and a lot of people are shaking right now and it feels like years since i played this okay you kill oh, the homie oh, i'm shaking over. but forspoken is the number one best-selling playstation 5 game in japan beating hogwarts legacy and final fantasy it. And I recently made a video because in this video there are a lot of uh, toxic gamers That's what they are saying and a lot of the toxic gamers are saying that do not buy uh, Forspoken do not buy Hogwarts Legacy and the homies over in Japan They didn't even bother saying Konnichiwa. They just straight up started like pre-ordering We got Hogwarts Legacy at the number two spot and then Final Fantasy and let me tell you a secret Okay, when you tell people to not buy they will buy it okay? <gasps> And this is such a human thing. We like to do things when people tell us not to do and we will do it even more. And we would buy it in this case to prove people wrong, especially the people that we do not even know. Make that make sense, bruh. I sometimes I want to just stop praying for you all just like this lady. Okay, At one point she did stop praying for some people. I'm not sure if she, she, she's still praying or not, but I got to stop praying for some of y'all. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take this matter in my own hands. Do not go over on my channel and certainly do not scroll down. This is a brand new series, Skizzle Reviews. I have uploaded six videos. Do not click on any of these videos. They are garbage. This is a garbage series. Bruh. Do not click on any of these videos. You see this video? Do not click on that. It's not a good series. And let's see if you can resist. Shut the f*** up. And for this story, I'm going to let the video do the talking. Roll it. Please do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. Friends, colleagues, cohorts, the whole lot of you, I'm asking you very sincerely, please do not stream it. Don't make YouTube videos about it. Don't buy it and don't bloody pre-order it. Um, the reason being is that you may not be aware that by supporting this title, you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous transphobic values. J.K. Rowling, a.k.a. Joanne, 
has made it extremely clear that they see the success of this title as being vindication of their transphobic views. That, you know, by this title doing well, that means that they were correct. And honestly, please don't be among them. If you weren't aware of all this, I'll do a longer video after this to explain a bit more of the nuance. Hogwarts Legacy becomes Steam and PS5's a best-selling game weeks before release. Oh. Right after this one, a lot of toxic gamers went crazy. People went bozo. You can see the quote retweets. No idea who this is, but he's doing a great job of publicizing the new Hogwarts game. People, people. Bruh. If you don't like a game, yes, don't buy it. But don't tell other people to not buy it. Because if you say that, people will buy it. People will buy it. If you're genuinely that mad, and if you tell people to not buy it, they will buy it. And you, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, you don't want to check this series out. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, do not do it. Don't do it. I see you. I see you going around the channel. Stop it. Stop it. Don't do it. I don't want to assume genders, but says I'm trans and I'm still getting the game. Bumbaka. PlayStation also ended up releasing this brand new trailer. Yeah, we got some baddies looking like a snack, but uh, always uh, do not chase a pom pom. Chase your dreams and uh, smash the like button. But apparently in this video, they have revealed 23 games in total uh, alongside Spider-Man 2, Final Fantasy, bunch of other games, even Assassin's Creed Mirage uh, from the UB caps from the UB snooze and only eight out of 23 games are gonna be on the Sony Pony 4. Yep, they are slowing down the PlayStation 4 and eventually they're gonna be shutting down and man, this is by far the best news in the gaming industry. Now, I do know that there are a lot of brothers and sisters stuck with the Sony Pony 4 jet engine, but at some point, we gotta ditch that, guys. I mean, for real, when are we really gonna get a true next-gen game? Is it gonna happen when PS5 Pro comes out? Is it gonna happen when PlayStation 6 comes out? And yeah, it's a good sign that they're finally shutting down the PlayStation 4, they're finally slowing down, and I truly understand and like a lot of the brothers and sisters are still stuck with that Sony Pony 4 jet engine. I, I understand, okay? But ladies and gentlemen, we gotta move on. How much longer we gotta wait for a real next-gen game? And you already know for the fact that by the time we're really gonna be getting like next-gen game, most are already gonna have PS5 Pro out. They're already gonna be talking about PlayStation 6 and the cycle never ends. By the time PlayStation 6 comes out, we're gonna be talking about the same thing. We're gonna be having games coming out on PS5 for years and years till we start are hearing about PlayStation 7. I mean, Bruh. Bruh. And this story is really wild to the point where on January 18, 2023, it has been a year because last year, Microsoft ended up buying Activision Blizzard for $68 billion. I mean, God damn it, man. Can a brother get like two cents out there so I can go to China and like double my net worth or something like that? Because $68 billion is $68 billion. And they did that last year. And this time, they ended up firing 10,000 people. I just cannot even compute. My brain just left the building. In comparison, Activision Blizzard has over 10,000 employees and they have announced that they are linked 10,000 employees. Now, I understand this. Microsoft have got like about like 200K employees. Yep, yeah, 200,000. I'm not making this up. They have 200,000 employees. It's a juggernaut of a company. It's a trillion dollar company. And a lot of people are saying that, well, uh, they only fired 10,000 people. My God, we're talking about 10,000 lives, 10,000 souls, all with families, some with kids. Mostly all of them are going to be having like five kids, 10 kids running around. Some probably would have a soccer team. Some probably would have an NBA, like an entire NBA team to feed. You cannot make the shiza up, right? And apparently, Man says that, uh, <laughs> Are you showing your bias there, Charlie? Do better. Showing bias on what? They laid off 10k workers and intend to buy a tuition blizzard for 68 billion dollars. And a lot of people started catching herpes in the situation. A lot of people started dropping DDTs. A lot of the Sony ponies started laughing. A lot of uh, the bots and Sony ponies, uh, I'm not sure who. It might be like undercover Sony ponies. It might be undercover X bots out there. Listen, how would I know? Smash the like button if you also do not know because it's very hard to know who's capping and, and who's not capping because essentially we're living in, in the in the in the matrix, right? Because man says that uh common Microsoft L. And they also indirectly shut down 343 industries because of most of the employees they fired were working at uh, Bethesda. Uh they yep, they end also ended up buying Bethesda and they also fired uh, most of the employees from their Halo division, which is kind of wild because Halo, it's the biggest franchise 
one of the biggest franchises in gaming and it's the biggest franchise for, for Xbox, right? And it's truly that franchise that should be honored, that should be made right. And we got Keemstar getting right into the news by saying that you ruined Halo. 343 should fire all the employees involved in making decisions from top down. So we got a lot of uh, like uh, toxic masculinity, toxic, toxic gamers, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people are also saying that, bro, if you got to fire like 10,000 employees, maybe you shouldn't have bought Activision Blizzard. Also, Marvel Avengers is shutting down, bro. Oh like, my that's God. <laughs> Marvel Avengers is shutting down apparently support will discontinue on September 30th, 2023. And we're apparently hearing that Tomb Raider is gonna get revealed as Marvel's Avengers dies. It's claimed and surely I'm a massive fan of Lara Croft. And yeah, we had a confirmation not long ago that they are working on a brand new Tomb Raider game. I just really hope that they do not nerf Lara Croft. I really hope that they do not make her masculine. I really hope that they, they do her justice, okay? I hope they, they make it look like a snack, okay? Because she's a snack. She's the full on feminine, okay? I, I love that game for that reason because she's feminine. They're embracing her femininity. Let's just hope it is not Tomb Welma Raiders. Ah! Ah! Smash the like button if you do not want this franchise to turn out like the, the Welma, okay? Also, shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation because Skull and Bones pre-orders are getting refunded. Oh, wow. The game is no longer on sale in the PlayStation Store, ladies and gentlemen. Gaming, gaming, Bruh. but Nadia accidentally ended up exposing Activision. Click on this video on the screen or click or do not click, I should say. Yep, do not click the video on the left. This is that video that I told you not to watch. 